It is time for a little bit of Super Battle Road over here. We got ourselves a doozy. We have a World Tournament. Uh, recently, this category has seen a little bit of a resurrection, I would say. Uh, we've seen a lot of really good units in the last kind of uh, six months or so. Maybe a little bit more like three. Uh, but you guys can see, I mean, we have Dokkan Awakenings and Easy A's for units that are basically all pretty new, except for the uh, the LR Goku and Vegeta Jr. They, uh, they finally found themselves a little use, and we're going to be using them today. But you guys are looking at the team on the screen. Jackie Chun, Piccolo, Giga Chad, Curlin. We got no World Tournament Goku, unfortunately. Uh, but this team should work out just fine. <laughs> we have the uh, the bootleg uh, World Tournament Goku with the STR one, the teen one where he's got an umbrella. But <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first, uh, this is going to be a live run, so no post commentary this time. This is a pretty, uh, I wouldn't say different for me, but it's a, a little bit uh, you know off the style that I've been doing lately. But that's okay. <laughs> We're going to have a good time regardless. So uh, first thing we want to do is just throw Krillin in slot one right away. Uh, and we will go for who's got more attacks in the middle. Um, the tech, ah, it's basically even. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack, um, honestly, I don't know that guy's, is that Nam, I think his name is? And then we're gonna go for Yajirobe with, uh, with Goku, so we can lower his attack, get all that fun stuff, because this Goku is pretty good, right? And then we're gonna go for Nam again. Sorry if I'm, if that's not who it is, I'm, I'm not the best with Dragon Ball. Um, you know, Z, GT, all that fun stuff I'm good with, but OG Dragon Ball names are not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> off the top of my head, so. Should be just fine, though, but we got an attack lowering right there, a little dodge, and we do have, uh, you know, something extra with Pickle, or with uh, Krillin right there. So, here we go, throw that umbrella up in the air. And I do believe this guy lowers attack and stun, so we have a chance for both. Uh, there we go, so now the attack is lowered on Yajirobe, and then we also have, uh, not anything on, uh, you know, our, the, the tech enemy, we'll call him, uh, from here on out, I guess, uh, but there we go. Uh, double attack lowering on Yajirobe certainly helps, and then uh, our other buddy is also attack lowered as well. But still, 300k with an item active is not uh, a resounding, uh, you know, a relief, so to speak. But uh, if the, he gets us, if this Jack, I don't, can Jackie Tunes? Nah, yeah, so we got a seal right there. Perfect. So now um, we have the active skill with uh, our boy Piccolo Jr., we'll throw him in the middle. Uh, then we'll go right away for the attack break on both of these enemies right here. It should work out just fine. Oh, okay, and then crit. Yeah, should do your thing, boy. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so set it up like this. Uh, Piccolo is ready to go. He's ready to rock. Uh, we have a really solid rotation here with these two. Uh, should work out just fine. Uh, like, he is uh, attack broken, and his attack is lowered, and he's also stunned. So there's no way he's going to be doing anything this turn. And then Piccolo is just ripping off a casual 8.2 8 million. Uh, Yajirobe's dead. He is done. Or the man in the mask. I wonder who that is. Okay, so there we go. Turn one, all taken care of. Or fight one. Uh, now on to fight two. We are fighting. Uh, I know who that is. It's Nail. Um, yeah. So we got a uh, Piccolo in the gang. We got TM. We got Krillin. We got Yamcha, and I believe that is Chi Chi on the end. Yes, it is. So yeah, here is where things could get a little bit difficult. So let's uh, let's do this right away. We'll get the HP back, and then we'll. Uh, We'll just throw an Usher on this turn, I guess, because we're going to have multiple enemies anyway. Uh, we will go for, uh, let's see, Krillin. Can you take care of Krillin? <laughs> uh, and then we will go for the stun. On So next turn, we have a tech out. Uh, we have a physical, we have a tech, and then we have, I want to say another int, but I don't want to go for the stun on Krillin because his attack's going to be lowered. Um... I don't know. This is tricky. We'll go for the one on the int because we have World Tournament Goku on the team. I think that'll work out just fine. And then we'll probably do another damage reduction item uh, when we go to the next turn because this isn't a no item run. I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, if I had like a World Tournament Goku and he had like some dupes in him and Piccolo had some dupes, I'd be like, yeah, let's go for it. But I don't. So boom right here. Krillin's getting the attack lowering. And then Goku should do his business right here. Uh, two or three attacks with some attack lowering and stunning will be very convenient, but uh, you know I'm expecting at the very least one. So yeah, there we go. At, at the very least one. Yeah, no shit. Um, <laughs> at, at the very least two. <clears throat> so boom, there we go. And a crit, nice. And another crit, perfect. Yeah. So now um, the idea is to kind of butter these guys up so that way we have um, an easier time with uh, Piccolo's AOE. Maybe it just takes out the field entirely. We get an additional super right there. So Goku and Vegeta putting in a little bit of work. Uh, if they want to take out Piccolo, that's fine by me, but there's a very slim chance that they do that. Usually the guy in the front has an okay uh, defensive uh, 
not a defensive like they, they're just a little bit better defensively than the other ones so boom let's go ahead and do our active skill uh let's see what we do right here some crits would be nice but uh, not the end of the world if we don't get them so boom there we go we get an attack break uh tn's day is done uh krillin's day is done yamcha's day is done and now we just have piccolo left so if Piccolo doesn't take care of the job, uh, World Tournament Goku surely is. And then if for some reason he doesn't, then Jackie Chun is here to pick up the mess. So this turn worked out really well. Um, we are cruising on into stage uh, or the third fight of this. So should be all fine and dandy. So boom, there we go with the stun. And we do get the additional super for 7.1. Pretty good. Um, so here we go. Boom, bam, bop. And uh, we are on to the third fight. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, so this, I mean, it's just this Piccolo Jr., right? So let's think about this. He gets his AoE, attack breaks everybody, and then it's like, if there's one enemy left, guess what he's doing? Oh, by the way, I'm also stunning you. <laughs> it's like, what is he supposed to do? So, uh, right here, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll weese it up, Papa Weese, and then we'll also use a Princess Snake to play it safe, in case she wants to mess around and do a super, and then we all of a sudden, we take a lot of uh, damage. So, not playing any games. Uh, here to do this once, and move on to the next video. <laughs> That's, that's the mindset right now. So uh, there we go. Krillin 3.3. That's pretty good uh, for a banner unit at 55%. Considering all the things that he does defensively linked up with this Goku uh, with an attack lowering. And then, yep, this is why we did what we did. Uh, I don't believe Krillin could take anything right here with double items and everything that he does. Uh, this has to be double digits, right? Yeah, triple digits. Yeah, they think they're cute. 125. <laughs> so now Goku, we're going to get a couple attack lowers, maybe two. Well, let's not say at least one this time. Let's hope we get at least two super attacks. We get one. And we get three attacks, but only one super. So uh, the attack was at least lowered. Now Goku's doing his thing, doing a little dodging. And then we got Jackie Chun coming in to pick up a little bit of the mess. And Piccolo this time is not going to get his AoE. So uh, only one enemy. So unfortunately, we do lo lose uh, Piccolo Jr.'s uh, most valuable asset. But it is what it is. Um, still should be more than okay because uh, piccolo can still stun so uh you know the big issue that we have is not going to be a huge uh, a big one so so to speak right so the only way we really can lose knock on wood is a super to uh goku and vegeta jr and i still think with the weiss active we should be okay because piccolo is going to do a stun we got world tournament goku coming in and doing his supers we should be all right i uh as long as we get the stun we're good and yeah, I don't even know if like Goku's going to be able to survive uh, a barrage from uh, World Tournament Goku. So uh, stun right there. Yeah, now it, it's GG. So maybe if we don't get the win right here, we can maybe have some fun. Uh, use one of our other units to get the job done and then we will uh, move on. So uh, World Tournament SBR, nothing too crazy. Um, almost exactly what you would expect, I'd say. And look at this. We might get to kill with these guys. Uh, fairly easy stage. Uh, just use your new units. Golden week. Uh, all set to go. Uh, and you won't have any trouble with it whatsoever. This has been a pretty casual run, but item, I don't really, uh, especially in like the SBR setting, it's like, who cares if you use items, right? It's like, unless you have everything rainbowed, you're ready to go, you're running like a double piccolo setup, then it doesn't really matter. And, you know, they, they just have, they're being really cute right here. So 247,000 defense. I'm going to place a bet that Krillin can't take damage right here linked up with the Goku, and we are not going to need another item. I don't feel the need for another one. Oh, and Piccolo stunned him, so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I didn't know if Piccolo's uh, stun was more than one turn, so. Uh, crit right there. There we go. Uh, World Tournament SBR. You guys can see the team. A lot of free-to-play units there. A couple summonable, but nothing uh, too wild. Uh, Krillin is a banner unit, so you can get him whenever. Uh, Jackie Chunes are both free-to-play. Uh, Piccolo will be returning on the Worldwide banner. Uh, so there is that, but uh, let me know down below what you guys think of this specific run. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out any of my Dokkan Battle content. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.